in August of 2017, Hurricane Harvey hit and I was doing a lot of volunteer work to support those who were victims of Hurricane Harvey. So I mean, I was on social media collecting donations. Well, lo and behold, a volunteer from Philadelphia met a father and a daughter. The storm flooded out their car. They're now in a hotel. He said, well, can you put them in contact with somebody? But I wasn't able to get to them until the end of the month. I raised some money on social media, probably only about $700, gathered the baby some items. I just went over there, dropped off the packages, and was like, oh, she's such a cute little baby. All right, well, blessings to you all. I'm headed to work. And that was supposed to be the end of the story. The father would reach out to me from time to time because I was helping him with resources for work and he didn't have next of kin in the area. And so I would be like, hey, I'll babysit the baby. I, I was a single woman, no children. I had time on my hand. Everybody was like, who is this baby that you are babysitting? And I was like, I'm just babysitting. Like I'm just helping somebody out. I talked to the dad and he was like, well, you know, would you be your god mom? But I was very clear that she needed something a little bit more stable and I didn't want to be a temporary fix. I met with dad, him and I had a discussion about a possible adoption. And so he was very much open to it, knowing that he could not provide her with what she needed, but she had what she needed as far as a mom was concerned. And I was just like, you know what? I'll just adopt her. Like if she needs a mother, Hurricane Harvey began in August. I finally got to them and met them in person October. She moved into my home in November. Before I knew it, January 6th of 2017, we were filing the paperwork for the adoption. I am in tune with the whispers of life, and so I knew that this baby was hand-delivered to my doorstep. I thought that I was saving her, but somehow, some way, it feels as if she came to save me. I see tears in I, your I, eyes. I'm, I'm not crying, I'm not crying. Oh, you know what? It's an emotional thing. It is. I understand. Thank you guys for being here. Hello, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Bella. I love watching your show on YouTube. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> you watch the show? Yes, I watch the show all the time. I first got introduced to you when I was watching it in the bedroom with my auntie. I was like, I think, I think she's the right person that I should watch because she is an amazing person. <laughs> Over here. Thank you so much for that, Bella. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, you took me back with that. How old are you now? A six. You're six years old. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Because I see the tears in your eyes uh -huh. watching that video. How did that feel? I was like, oh my, that's our story. Mm -hmm. uh, that is our story. And while, you're, while I'm in the midst of motherhood, I haven't really had a whole lot of time right. to, you know really process what was happening. Yeah. But it's a, it's a miracle. Um, it, so it just warmed my heart. She said, how did it make you feel? Yeah, what how did, did it make you feel? Um, how did it make me feel? It, because it was heartwarming to me. When I, when I was, when she first babysitted me, I, I kept like staring at her. I was like, Mm. And then and then and then she started and then she like um, and then she started like getting into me and I was like and then when I was a baby I was like I think I like this person that year. <laughs> She's wise, very smart. Did you expect to be a mom like this? Absolutely not. Not in this manner. Um, I was the one who had really been very strategic about mapping out my life plan. Mm -hmm. I did everything I was supposed to do to go to school to earn my PhD. And I thought I had crossed all the I's and dotted all the T's and I had wrote a plan for my life. Mm. And so for a baby to literally show up on my doorstep, I'm a native of Chicago. That's I was right. in Houston, Texas. We got that. Um, and, you know, out of all the people in Houston, Texas, for this baby to land on my doorstep, I would have never thought that. My it God. Would happen. God always got a little bit more in store. Yeah. And I think. I think sometimes um, we expect packages and they're wrapped in a totally different package. And so this is definitely my yes. greatest unexpected blessing. Yes, and a beautiful blessing it is. Bella, I can't help but to see how you look at your mother. Like, do you want to follow in her footsteps one day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, you're amazing. I think you're headed in the right direction. What do you feel is the most special thing about your mom? Um, she's the, she was the best thing I could ever want. And all my life. She was like the thing that I always wanted in my whole entire life. Doesn't that warm your heart? You are such an angel, uh, such a blessing. Now I hear you two do everything together. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yep. You we do? Own a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard that one of y'all want to go to Legoland. That's me right there. <laughs> I kind of figured that. 
So, Legoland California Resorts is kicking off the holidays starting November 18th, and they want to celebrate with you. They're giving you two-day park passes and a stay at Legoland Hotel. Have fun, Bella! Oh my goodness, here you go. You continue to be the angel that you are and the beautiful mother that you are and the figure that you are. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.